All right, this is my tier list for Dragon Ball Fighters. I don't think this game is gonna get some, any more support, so I think it's safe to assume that we can make this kind of definitive. So, um, as I was saying, I, I messed up the recording the first time. So, best character in the game is Android Twenty One. Um, I really wish she was better, or I really wish she was worse, because I've been an Android Twenty One main since season one. But now it's, I just feel kind of gross playing her. But Android Twenty One is the best character in the game. She has super safe jump off of her level three Oki. And everything like that so i mean she's just super safe and really good you can play her in any position so and then second best character in the game is base vegeta he's been good since he came out sonic fox showed us that and everything like that so base vegeta is good he's got super good mobility with his rocket kick and his damage is insane uh loop is crazy and then we have vegito blue uh this character is just stair step the character france has really showed us how good this character can be and they're dominating right now with Vegito Blue. Um, after Vegito Blue, I'd go Gogeta. Gogeta's super gimmicky, but he also has the one-shot kill. And if you build your team around specifically getting that one-shot kill, you're guaranteed going to get it, and it's super crazy. Uh, playing Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 with Vegito is just disgusting. Yeah, Gogeta's super good. Um, and like I was saying, probably the fifth best character... Oh, I could argue TN is really good. Uh, we just had the Pinnacle Tournament in Canada, uh, Vancouver, and TN was in like four of the top eight teams, maybe three of them. But TN's super good as an anchor and as a point, and so uh, TN is super good right now. And then I would round off S tier with Gotenks. I feel like Gotenks is super underutilized, but he has super unique combo paths and... It's just super disgusting to have Gotenks on your team. He's super good as a mid, super good as a point, and he just builds Ghost Oki. It's just like the best Oki in the game. So um, with that, that's that's probably my S tier. Those are the top six characters in the game. I'd say it's ordered also. So I'll say this is ordered. So that's what I think is the best characters in the game. So at the top of A, almost going into S though, um, I'd probably give it to Android 18 she's super good her barrier covers so much and just her pressure is insane so that's android 18 and then after 18 i'd probably say oh man i'd put broly in s tier broly is just super good he's a literal demon best zoning in the game super high armor the damage is insane so i would put him in s also um after android 18 um honestly i still think piccolo is a monster piccolo is super crazy his pressure with his assist that does the double balls is insane and just that paired with like something like broly and stuff like hook gang gods uh team last season was uh blue goku piccolo and broly like that team was destructive um, so I would also put Goku. He's a super good point character. Super good battery. Um, I just want to see my S and D tier. I'll, fin I'll do the whole. I'll do the whole tier list. I'll probably put it up as a YouTube video. So, with that, um, I think I would go next. Pretty surprising, but I think Nappa's super good. His buffs have treated him very, very nice. So I would put Nappa. His pressure and restands are super super good um after that i'm not too sure who i put into a android 16 works well in any with any character so i could put him there and i'll put ui in a as well um ui he did get a ton of nerfs but he's still super prominent in online and so online is still uh the majority way we all play this game so ui is still gonna be super good there um, uh, last character for A, probably, I'd say Jiren. Again, another character that got super buffed. Jiren is super powerful right now, so I would definitely try running him if you're into him and you just haven't played him just because he's been so bad. So, that's probably my A tier. There might be a couple characters that creep up after this. Like, maybe Gohan could be A. His level buffs have been super good, so, nah, I'd say Baby 2. 
Wrath um, at the Pinnacle Tournament did some disgusting things with Baby. So, uh, starting B tier, this is like my mid tier. That none of these characters are bad, but none of them are super great. I put Bardock. Bardock's just the perfect, like all arounder character. Same thing with Bardock. I put Cell. Cell's been really good since the start of season one, so he's just able to handle everything that comes up with him. So, um, base Goku. Honestly, he could probably go into S tier. I put Go base Goku S. He's just super, super strong. Uh, Wawa destroys with this character. Um, the end of A tier, I put Master Roshi. Uh, he's gotten a lot of nerfs, but he's still pretty good. Um, I'd go ahead and put Zamasu as well. I play Zamasu. He's my main. So I'd put him right in the middle. And then... I, don't, I feel like his buffs did really good. He used to be bottom, bottom of the character, worst character in the game. But now he's... I'd say he's solid. Um, after that, probably uh, Krillin, super good. Has a sister, has a sister, really good. Um, he can play, be played mostly point anchor. Anchor Krillin's really slept on, honestly. And then with that, I could probably, I'd argue Team Gohan's up there, maybe with Ginyu as well. I think Ginyu is really good he had the same thing with Nappa uh, early on in the season that if he could touch you he could kill you but he's gotten better but I don't think he's anywhere near as close to like S or A um, speaking of mid tier probably Super Saiyan Goku uh, he's good they gave him his 2M back so it's still super fast now and then after that every character ah well I put Kid Buu in A Kid Buu's still a really good point and then after that, I think everybody could be argued as a little bit under mid. So I put GT Goku here. Um, his assist is still super good. You could argue him B. I'll put him B, but I feel like it's debated C or B. So I'll put him like here. And then going down the list, they gave Goku Black some things, but it's still just not that good. Um... And I would put Frieza. Hit. If you're not OB Assassin, you hit's not super crazy. So, I mean, not a lot of people play him. So I put Kefla and Trunks here. Trunks could be argued for B, just because he's, like I said, a really good all-rounder. Vegeta's good. He's just not... Uh, he's slept on now. His assist is pretty basic. It's a good assist, but... There's so many assists that do what he does better. Android 17, I don't see anybody playing 17. So, I mean, he's good probably, but like he just has no representation. Uh, the swag got himself Beerus. I could argue B, but... Uh, and if this was a uh, tier list for like flashiest combos, he would be right here. He'd be the top of the top of the food chain. His, his combos are so sick. But right now, I would probably put him B or A. I'll sit him B just because I've never seen a ton of Beeruses being played. Aside from Sonic Fox and like Just Relax Kid on Ranked. But other than that, it's okay. I put Cooler here. Uh, Cooler's good. He did have some representation at Pinnacle. One player was playing him in the top eight. So, I mean, he does have some synergy with teams. But um, I'd, I'd stick him as a solid C. Uh, Janimba, he's super saucy, but like I said, I put him C. Um, for the worst characters in the game, Videl, I could put B. She got some sauce. And Gogeta, I put C, and I'll move Goku back to B. Just because looking at this list right here, I see a lot more of these characters being played a lot more. And so, Broly, uh... He does. He has to do so much to do very little damage. I honestly think he's pretty bottom of the barrel. Majin Buu is super tricky, just because no one really plays him that I've seen. Um, he's super crazy. He's a Twitter combo character. I feel like. Um, it's so hard to put him here. I'm. I feel really weird putting him C. He could just as easily be B. I'm going to leave him C just because I don't see him played much. Blue Vegeta. 
he got some buffs, but it's still just not enough. Compared to all the other Vegetas, he's definitely the worst one. His kicks are just not good. And as for Yamcha, I still play Yamcha. I still play Yamcha. I want to put him C, but most tier lists I've seen put him like near bottom of the barrel. They've nerfed his uh, they nerfed his uh, quarter circle forward uh, heavy move so bad. It's so slow now. So that I f I f I'm pretty confident in saying this is my tier list. Um, I like it. So if you enjoyed, I mean. Leave in the comments what you guys would think about where you would place any of these characters. Like I said, a lot of these characters can be interchangeable, but I'm pretty confident this is where I want to put them. So uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like, subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.